And here we go once more, cruisers. Welcome back and thank you for joining us for our daily cruise news updates. Today we have five new updates heading your way as Carnival Cruise Line makes an amenity change on its private island. Watch this video and more with all news fed directly to you from CruiseHive.com. Princess Cruises has designed two wine and food themed cruises focused on family owned wineries on the US West Coast. Discovery Princess and Sapphire Princess will operate the special sailings, both departing in October 2023 from Vancouver, British Columbia to Los Angeles. Cruisers will have the opportunity to learn the history of the Wagner wines, as well as the Camus brand, with wine regions and tasting techniques also to be explored. The winemaker dinner on board the theme cruise follows a similar dining event that Princess Cruises rolled out across its fleet earlier this year. While it's nice to be the first in the know, Carnival Cruise Line gears up to reveal exciting details about Celebration Key. Carnival enthusiasts have a golden opportunity to be the first to know by registering online the Carnival website for exclusive updates to unlock early access to booking dates, exclusive promotions and enticing itineraries for Celebration Key and to embark on the journey towards its grand opening in July 2025. Now with the prospect of an experience with mile-long white sand beaches, shore excursions, authentic Bahamas retail and dining choices, it will certainly be a key for maximum enjoyment. A new law being introduced by two city council members in New York, introducing a bill that would require cruise ships to utilize shore power when docked at the city's cruise ports, rather than burning fuel that creates harsher emissions. Now, visiting cruise ships would need to power when docked at either the Brooklyn Cruise Terminal or Manhattan. Different ships of different sizes have different fuel efficiency, however there's no denying their emissions in an already crowded city can be problematic. The bill would not ban cruise ships from visiting the ports, but would simply require them to hook up to shore power while docked. Carnival Cruise Line has reached a guest booked on five separate cruises aboard four different ships to notify them of itinerary adjustments for their sailings. Guests set in sail aboard the new Carnival Jubilee sees her seven-night Western Caribbean itinerary from Galveston will now head to Cozumel first instead of Rowerton, as well as both departure times from the home port slightly adjusted with Carnival Sunrise depart in Miami at 5.30pm instead of 3.30pm and Carnival Radiance depart in Long Beach at 7pm instead of 5 Carnival Miracles December the 9th sailing will now have a slightly different itinerary than originally booked, with the order of port visits changed in Ocho Rios, changed to Montego Bay, and modified port times for Grand Cayman, Costa Maya, and Cozumel. Carnival Cruise Line has begun reaching out to guests with a scheduled visit to Half Moon Cay, a private island in the Bahamas, to notify them that the island beach villa rentals and beach cabana rentals will be changing as of October the 1st and no longer enjoy the refreshing amenities of air conditioning during their visits. The change may impact guest decision to rent the exclusive retreats, with both two-storey villas and the single-storey cabanas rented for a full day. No explanation for the removal of air condition has been offered. So cruisers, what do you think of this decision? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. And that's it for me today cruisers, my name is Paul and thank you for watching the video and choosing Cruise Hive as your first port of call for all cruise news updates. Now if you wish to see the news we've covered in the video, please visit our website on cruisehive.com. If you wish to be kept updated and stay informed in the world of cruising, then don't forget to like our channel and hit that subscribe button. Have a good day cruisers and I'll see you in the next video.